file format, accordingly, user can include or eliminate bill details and also can modify the size of bill. Design of bill on the basis of printer, dot matrix printer, laser printer, inkjet printer, or other Windows-based printer. Introduction of Bill Format A schematic presentation Bill Format is broadly divided into four parts. Upper part, header part, middle part, lower part. Let's discuss upper part of Bill Format and values off. This part includes details of purchaser and seller as per his requirement including logo and GSTIN number. Users can include e-way bill. Number, transporters details, shipping details, and etc. Designing of upper part. Follow the following path to see the setting for designing upper part. For the first time user need to assign bill format styler need to check the style which he needs to edit in case of multiple formats. Procedure for checking the format. Go to master of click bill. Format then select assign format bill printing style will open a screen where the user can check which format is selected to edit. To check the format CGST invoice state section is shown in the figure. To select a different format from multiple templates users can use the drop down menu of the same section. Click save upon selection or click exit if no change is required in the Selection Bill Printing Style box will disappear. For opening the bill format, go to Master. Click Bill Format. Bill Printing Format will open as shown. Upon clicking the Edit button, a list of formats will appear as shown on screen. Select the desired format and then move on to the editing part point to be noted, above is an example only. The list may be different user to user. Now, let's see the description part. The first column in bill format is description. This column shows the details that need to be printed in the upper part of the bill. The content from the list selected can be either fixed or variable. For example, address, GSTIN number, and the name of the firm of biller is fixed in all formats but the same varies from bill to bill in case of the purchaser. Variable calls list from the data and appear on the bill depending on the variable selected. Let's see the example for constant or fixed content and variable content. In the below image, the content shown in the yellow box is fixed or constant, while the area shown in the red box is variable. They change depending on the type of bill and purchaser information. Tax invoices, highlighted in red, because it may change to the bill of supply if the same is selected. So it's a variable now. Let's learn about order, suborder, and alignment in ValueSoft. Now we're in the order section of ValueSoft bill format. The order number of order section directs the positioning of content selected from the description. More precisely, if something needs to be printed in line number 2 of the page then its order number will be 2 and so on for other. Let's see an example, name of the firm, Vanit Distributors is assigned with order number 2. Refer image at the right, highlighted in yellow. Let's have a look at the suborder section of upper part in bill format designing. Suborder helps to position the content from the description at different places in the same line. For example, order number 3 in the image having GSTIN, address, and phone number, for which suborder number 1, 2, and 3 has been allocated respectively under order number 3. Refer image at the right, highlighted in pink. After suborder we are now on the alignment section of value soft bill format designing. It helps to align the position of suborder in subsequent order. There are following three alignments. L refers left, C stands for center, and R denotes alignment towards right. Refer image at the right, highlighted in green. It's very important to understand the concept of subalignment as it helps to align the position of subalignment display in subsequent order. As alignment section, subalignment also has the 
following three types. L positions the variable to left, C to center, and R towards right. For example, in the image phone number is at order number 3 with suborder 3 and alignment R while mobile is at order number 4 with suborder 3 and alignment R, but yet their alignment is different. It's because sub-alignment for the phone number is R and for mobile is L. Now we're in the section where we will learn about bold print and print text section of the upper part of value soft fill designing. The bold feature allows users to make text bold. If it's Y, it'll be bold. If N, selected, it'll not be shown in bold. For example, in the image MPD road, Bagelber is not bold while pharmaceutical stockist is in bold. The print feature facilitates the user with an option to opt in or opt out to print the selected description in the bill. If it's Y, it'll be printed on the bill. If N, selected, it'll not be printed on the bill. The print text feature, the text as per the description selected need to be entered here. For example, Vanita Distributors is the text to be printed in the bill under the description name of the firm as fixed content and bill number as variable content line before insert a horizontal line before text if selected y line after insert a horizontal line after text if selected y line leading space user can enter space at pixel level on the left side of the text in the below image a leading space of one pixel is given before g STIN and state but no space before DL trailing space, user can enter space at pixel level on the right side of the text in the below image a trailing space of one pixel is given after phone but no space after mobile. Font name selection, users can select the font of his choice even languages other than English. Please note that the font need to be installed if not pre-installed. Font size selection, it helps to specify the size of the font for any specific description and the same will be displayed accordingly on the bill. Underline selection. This feature helps to underline any descriptive text. Check variable. Variable content like purchaser details, e-way bill, transport number, and etc. varies bill to bill. If the check variable is selected as Y, it calls the data from the database and inserts the same into the bill. Text color selection. This feature helps to change the color of the text of any specific description. Let's see how we can insert a blank line. Users can insert one or more blank lines after the text of any description. Example, in the image shown, a blank line is inserted at phone, at order. Number 3, it has inserted a blank line after phone, that is in between phone and state, but there is no blank line after mobile, that is in between mobile and DL. Note, this feature works in all format, but is well suited for a dot matrix printer. Pixel app, the user can insert one or more space after the text of any description at pixel level. Example, in the image, you can see two pixel of blank space is inserted at phone that order number three, it has inserted a blank space of two pixel after phone, in between phone and state, but here there is no blank space after mobile at the pixel level, that is in between mobile and DL.